what's up everybody welcome back it's time once again for mike versus the wrestling guy and <laughs> man th this has been quite an eventful week you know uh so much news and i really want to get started with your thoughts on this whole wwe letting people go and you know some surprising names in there we got braun Strowman, uh, alistair black to name a few right yeah. Big names, big names. And so what, what do you think about this whole thing? Um, It's kind of sad because, <laughs> you know, I thought they were done with the cuts back after WrestleMania. And yesterday um, at about 7 in the morning, my phone just started blowing up. And I'm like, well, that's crazy. I go, who's texting me so much? And I had like 10 different messages. And even my youngest son walked into the room and he's like, did you hear Braun Strowman's not part of WWE anymore? And I'm like, what are you talking about? And I thought it was a joke. You know, I thought it was one of those Twitter trolls. Yeah. And I woke up and I checked and I was like, oh, my God, 10 messages all about Braun, Alistair. Not all uh, just letting me know, all of them asking, like, how soon do you book him at the store? And I'm like, damn, let it <laughs> let it kind of pass a couple days, you know, and then we'll worry about that. But it was very, very shocking. Um, I'm just surprised by it. the the biggest shock to me. I think everybody was shocked by Braun, but my biggest shock was Alistair. Yes, definitely. Yeah. He, yeah. he was just on SmackDown, Intercontinental Championship, you know, picture. Uh, yeah. It's it just, you, you don't expect something like that. Because mm -mm. vignettes, uh, build, build up takes time, TV time, right? Yeah. That could be going to somebody else. So I feel like this decision was very, very last minute. Yeah, I think so, too, because uh, when he debuted, what, two weeks ago or did his re-debut two weeks ago, that's all everybody talked about, you know, being at the store Saturday. That's all everybody talked about was Alistair debuting and, you know, how his, the smoke, you know, the whole entrance and everything was so cool for everybody. And I even said, like, wow, he's finally going to get that push he deserves. And then two weeks later or three weeks later, whatever it was, he gets released. And I think that one... That one really gutted me out of all the releases. <laughs> um, yeah. uh, for, for me, definitely Braun Strowman. Um, you know, I had a sign and, you mm -hmm. know, uh, it, it was um, the Arthur meme. And it's around here somewhere, but it's the, yeah. Ar the Arthur meme where he's like, you know, ready, about to punch DW. And yeah. uh, I, I uh, captioned it, get these hands. And I, I would always oh. take that to events and people... It was, uh, you know, people would like that sign, so I guess yeah. I won't be able to take that anymore. <laughs> um, but yeah, man, um, we also had Ruby Riot, uh, you know. That one hurt. Yes, uh, so much potential there. Uh, I saw, I saw her last video where she, where she was, um, basically kind of. She was talking to Liv Morgan about how, um, how she, you know has been so close to getting the tag titles yeah. with, with Liv Morgan. And, you know, I, you could feel the frustration. You could feel just in that kick that she yeah. gave the, the, the trash can, the, you know, all that pent up uh, frustration of being close, but not quite there. So, yeah. You know, what are your and thoughts it's on funny. that? Well, it's funny because um, I was watching Chad and I said, man, it'd be cool if they reunited the riot squad. And then, I saw a video where they were trained, where Sarah Logan was starting to train, and I said, "Wow, maybe there's potential, and they'll bring her back, and that's where they'll go." Ah, oh, there you go. <laughs> hey, you might still be able to use it. Sure. <laughs> uh, but I was really shocked, and when she got released, because she—they don't have many women on the main roster, like, and then you don't have many tag teams, so I, I don't understand some of these releases. Um, you know, I'm a WWE guy, you know, and uh, it really makes it hard to be a WWE fan with these releases. And honestly, if I'm the fans right now, uh, I would just, you know, if you really want to make a statement to Vince and the company, you got to, and you, you know, but fans say this all the time, but they don't do it, is you have to stop watching the product and make the numbers suffer for them to actually start listening. And, you know, I... Right now, I don't think it's a good time to do it because Vince and companies using, oh, it's COVID. There's no fans, so our numbers are going down. Numbers are going to go up once fans come back. But you know what? 
they might go up the first week, maybe the second week, but the third week, fans got to just stop tuning in and, you know, and I'm in the business, you know, as far as selling merch and all that. And it kind of sucks that I have to say that, but I, it's, it's to the point where sometimes it's so frustrating that you're seeing so many talented people just get released and it makes no sense to me. But, and the, and the word, the funny part is it's like you have AEW who's right on their asses and they're not, it's like, they're not even worried. <laughs> yeah. Like it seems no concern whatsoever there. Um, yeah. For, for you, especially like you say, you know, like a, the, a merch seller, you know, you have the store, wrestling yeah. store in Huntington Park. Check it out, people. Um, Thank you. Absolutely. Have you heard pe more people asking for more AEW than WWE? Or is there still a good amount of uh, WWE people asking for mer more merch? I think you do get some. Uh, how can I say it? You still get a few people that come in asking for AEW. And we're, we're trying to get the AEW merch. Uh, it's not a, a big portion yet. So maybe maybe you'll get somebody once or maybe twice a week that'll ask for something. Mm -hmm. But I think that goes down to what I always said with, um, with WWE during the Attitude Era. If they're going to sell a lot of shirts. They're going to sell a lot of figures. But not to the point where they are now as far as like WWE selling shirts and figures now. Um, and that's because, again, you have a lot of kids watching the product. And the, who spends money are the kids. But you're getting rid of all their favorites now. So, you know, Braun Strowman is a is very popular amongst the kids. And yeah. I thought to myself today, and I've been saying this for a while, and I think I've said it with you, AEW needs that one big name, That's that, that Hulk Hogan uh, signing. And mm -hmm. Braun could be that, that signing because he's still young. He could still go. He's not... See, when people make a big deal out of Big Show or, or Mark Henry or Christian or Sting, I'm like, that's not going to make a difference. Yeah. They're on their way out. They're done. <laughs> yep. But Braun is that guy that maybe he's not going to be the Hulk Hogan caliber, but guess what? He can bring kids now. If they sign him, he can bring kids to that product. Oh, you know? for and, sure. Yes. Yeah. And, they're gonna mar and they can market around that now, you know, and because I think the only guy they really asked me for from AEW is Moxley. And but kids still remember as uh, remember him as Dean Ambrose, so right. that's why I'm saying if you get Braun, that's the guy that can potentially make a little buzz for for AEW. But you know who knows if they even want to go that route. I mean, I think they should. They they need some big man over there that can move. I, I will say that, in my opinion, I think he would fit Impact more. Y yeah, you know, I yeah. I, I think that he's more of a, of a stylistically. I feel he was mm -hmm. he's more of a fit over there. But to your point, definitely, if if you have Braun Strowman in AEW, that would create a different kind of buzz with mm -hmm. a different demographic, right? Yeah. So, yeah. So there's that. Um, yeah. And I, I want to quickly jump over to this other huge topic that's been going around, especially earlier today, uh, about NBC. Is are they going to buy WWE? Is is this? Is there any truth to this? Is there any validity to this? What do you think? You know, I, I talked to a friend of mine who who helps bring in wrestlers at our store, and okay. he brought up a good point, which I NBC. it didn't occur to me, which is I don't think they're gonna sell. I think what they're trying to do. I mean, I think Vince is just too proud to sell, unless he's like in bad health you know then i could see him saying you know what screw it i'm done um i mean the bad storylines would make sense now but, <laughs> <laughs> but uh except smackdown i can't take it away from smackdown but um you know I, he brought up a good point which is it could be that just wwe is dropping all this right now to try to reno re renegotiate these contracts because they're dropping too many there's no way AEW is going to sign you know, what is it, like 12, 15, 20 people they've dropped in the last couple of, of months. months? Yeah. So, yeah. So you're not going to see, you know, there's no way I don't see AEW signing Alistair, Braun, Ruby, uh, you know, and never, uh, Buddy Murphy and all them. Um, so I could see something where, and maybe Impact will sign a name, maybe, uh, New you know, AEW signs yeah. one or two guys, New Japan maybe, maybe the same route, but it could be something where WWE's just I we both thought it could be something where WWE's just dropping uh, talent right now to save some money, get a bigger profit margin or whatever, and then once they start touring, 
and they see that the touring is working, they could possibly try to fix these contracts, sign them up, sign them back, and then get them at a cheaper rate. So, for example, what Braun was making a million dollars a year. So, if nobody signs them in six months, Vince can say, "Hey, let's bring you back at five hundred thousand a year," you know, right. and and, and yeah. Braun could say, "Okay." <laughs> so, but a potential sale. I can see it. I mean, I've always said if anybody's going to buy them, it's going to be Universal. I don't see Disney. I don't see Fox. Uh, I don't see Warner Brothers. I see Universal being the, the ones that, that, that ultimately end up buying WWE if they go that route. Or maybe Shane McMahon buys Vince out. You know, maybe he does the same thing he did to yeah. his dad. Yeah. That is, yeah, that is interesting. That's a, yeah. Huh. I, 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 or Stephanie and Triple H. <laughs> I mean, but supposedly they they've been selling stock, so yeah. I don't know how that goes into play. I mean, I'm no businessman. Yeah, but, you know, I, I I wouldn't know how all that stock thing would uh, apply to this. But I, you know, I in the Circle of Debate podcast, I've said that you know it it is within the realm of possibility for WWE to be sold. Right? Yeah, MGM. Yeah. MGM just recently got bought off by Amazon. Yeah. Disney bought 20th Century Fox. Mm-hmm. And, you know, mergers happen, right? NBC has had their own mergers with Universal, Comcast, all that mm. stuff. So, you know, it, it, we're used to seeing WWE being owned by the McMahon family, but it, it's possible nowadays that, you know, give him $4 billion and yeah. here you go. Here are the keys, yeah. you know? Yeah. I, I, I can honestly see it. Disney, like you said, Disney. Uh, we have a co-host. Don't worry. <laughs> Disney bought, you know, like you said, Disney bought Marvel. They bought 20th Century Fox. Uh, they bought what? Uh, the rights to Star Wars. Uh, you know, you had just like you said, you have, uh, you know, Warner Brother bought some people out. Um, so you have all these mergers, like you said, and I, it wouldn't be shocking to me if, if Universal just says, you know what, we've been working with WWE so long, let's just make it work. And I think Vince might, I mean, it makes sense from everything I've read. It does make sense why they're dropping so many contracts and, you know, they're trying to, you know, make it more valuable to the, to the McMahon's you know, you know, but I mean, I, I don't know, man, I'm hoping it's just what I said. It's, um, it's going to be weird, man, for WWE to be ran by anybody else except McMahon. <laughs> now, now here is, here's the debate part of it in, from what I think. What do you think about something like this? NBC doesn't know what to do with, with WWE. You know, five years from now, Tony Khan buys WWE off of NBC. Yeah. Karma. <laughs> What do you think about something like that? I, I I think it could happen. I was just thinking about that a couple uh, couple hours ago, actually, when I was before we got on. I was just thinking, like, how crazy would it be if if Tony Khan buys WWE in a couple years because you know it's just not profitable to Universal anymore. But I also thought, why not? Just like I said earlier, how crazy would it be for Stephanie and Triple H to just buy the company back five six years from now and say, you know what? I could see Stephanie doing something like that because, you know, I think the McMahons have a lot of pride and I, I don't think they would ever let anybody else, you know, own it. But it would be crazy if Tony Khan ends up buying, you know, WWE. Yeah. The rise and fall of WWE. <laughs> I'll, I'll buy them on 4K and all that good stuff. Um... I was thinking about that because somebody advertised the rise and fall of AEW and I said, you might have it backwards, guy, in a couple years. <laughs> Uh, and 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 last topic here. Uh, I wanted to kind of mention also that there is, are some names or a couple of lists going around of people that ha- might potentially be let go uh, yeah. in the near future. I I mean uh, again, I think this is uh, it's crazy to me that WWE is not worried about AEW, or maybe they are, and I uh, we don't know what you know. But uh, some of the names on there that I've seen is just crazy. Like I just saw a list with Ricochet. Which would kind of make sense because I know they haven't known what to do with them. I would think he he wouldn't. I don't think he would go to AEW. If I had the pitch, he'd probably go back to New Japan, um, mm-hmm. just because I think he had a better run there than you know. And he, I think in AEW, the for him it would be the same as WWE because he's not 
you know, doesn't have the mic skills that you would need to, you know, to get over. And I think in New Japan, they appreciate more the talent than, you know, they appreciate more the talent than the mic skills. <laughs> so I think right. Ricochet will go there. But another name I was surprised to see on there was like uh, Keith Lee. Um, but then again, Vince McMahon never understood the character. So that guy was, I, I don't know why they didn't see any, those two names right there, I don't know what, why they don't see money in them because Ricochet's the modern day superhero and Keith Lee is a big guy that was just so over in NXT. And then the other big name that I will, that I know AEW will pick up is Jeff Hardy. Oh, no doubt about that, man. Yeah. See, that's, that's one that one. I would want to, yeah. to, for him to go over for sure. Yeah, and that's 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 money that they're gonna leave on because you have the Bucks and the Hardys on a and that's another name that can honestly, again, tilt it more towards AEW because yes. Jeff Hardy has that fan base that, and and then you have your dream match that people have been waiting for with him and Darby Allen. So, man, that hadn't so, even crossed my mind yet. And yeah, so yeah. that's what I'm saying. Though they're uh. I think those would be three big surprising names if they do, you know, do some more releases. Hopefully they don't. Hopefully this touring will save some. I mean, WWE would be stupid to release Jeff Hardy with the touring coming back up. Mm. Because, you know, you're going to need somebody that the fans can get behind, and that's Jeff Hardy. But maybe they're regretting that contract they gave him. Maybe, maybe. Yeah. Uh, you know, they have him on main event with uh, Mustafa Ali. So, yeah. you know, not really doing much with him. Uh, That's I, the only I, thing I wonder why they why they resigned them if they really didn't have a. But then again, maybe they thought they would have the crowd by now. Right, maybe. You know. And, yeah. Uh, another name that I, I heard was, or two names, were Umberto Carrillo and Angel Garza. I heard that those guys might be, you know, th at this point, it, it, with Braun Strowman gone, it, it's just you know anybody. It, it's yeah. anybody except for Roman Reigns. Uh, yeah, anybody that's not Roman or Seth, you're not or you're not going anywhere. Right. Yeah, it's it's Carrillo. I kind of I I kind of think he pretty much put the nail in the casket on uh, on Monday by injuring Sheamus if he does get released. Yeah. Because you know that's you seen how long it took Shinsuke Nakamura to get a push after he injured well put to almost injured John Cena, and so Vince is not very you know. Um, Garza would surprise me just because he has the potential to be that Eddie Guerrero that they've been waiting for. But then I honestly think they just feel like they have enough talent in NXT that they can make things happen. And if you really look at it, you, you do have uh, Escobar down there that they probably have their eyes on and say, this is our guy now. So maybe yeah. the two names I'm surprised I didn't see on the list was Lucha House Party because I really thought that they might be next. Who's next? Yeah. Lucha House Party, man. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, um, so many names, and you know it's unfortunate that you know people are losing their jobs. But yeah. you know, for everybody out there, comment below. What do you What yeah. do you guys think? The question is, do you guys agree with these uh, business tactics? And who do you think might be next on the list on the chopping yeah. block? Who do yeah. you guys think? And, and will WWE sell, or will they, or will they not sell? You know, is it? It's tough, man. It's tough. Like I said. If you want change in WWE, stop tuning in on Fox. Stop tuning in on USA. Yeah. And watch how fast that uh, you know, below 1.0, and watch how fast WWE changes everything. And I think you know what? Honestly, before we end, mm -hmm. I've seen a lot of fans that are pissed off this week, especially yes. with these cuts, more than they were the last round. And I wouldn't be surprised if SmackDown's ratings take a hit and Raw's ratings take a hit for the next couple of weeks. I believe it believe yeah. that yeah for sure yeah i've seen and, it all um, over the comments i've seen it online and all that good stuff so i i wouldn't doubt it you know and num the numbers they won't lie you know mm -mm. so WWE, they're going down every week so that tells you something <laughs> absolutely so i just want to thank everybody for tuning in uh david tell us what is going on at the wrestling guy store what oh, any, any events coming up yeah, so Saturday, June 19th, we have uh, Molly Holly. Uh, she'll be there from 1 to 3 p.m., a WWE Hall of Famer, and also possibly a future WWE producer. So make sure you guys come in on Saturday, uh, June 19th. I do have a, a shout-out for a wrestling show called uh, 
uh, Purosio Lucha Libre. That's going to happen on Sunday, June 13th in uh, Santa Ana. Uh, they're a good uh, promotion that's partnering with us on a lot of the shows. Uh, well, we're partnering with them. Yeah. So, and they'll have a Sin Cara, actually, uh, Caristico, uh, at their show. So, we have tickets available in store. And so, if you guys want to come in, I think they start at like 20 bucks and then like the VIP is 40 bucks. So, there you go. Nice. I'm I'm getting my ticket soon, so I'll there be you there. go. Yeah, I'll go with you. I promise. I'll I'll wear pants. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So I only so, go from the waist up. <laughs> there you go. That's a good start. <laughs> uh, to everybody, thank you guys for tuning in. Remember to subscribe to the Circle of Debate podcast, and yes. I'll see you guys in the next one.